Todd Network News. Where we give you a new perspective. On events happening in our world today. This is GNN. Welcome to God Network News, Episode 30. Welcome, GNN fans, to another episode of God Network News, the podcast that tells you what God's doing around the world, not what CNN tells you, but what GNN tells you is going on in the world. If you're tired of listening to all of that crisis network news and you want to hear what God's doing, well, give us a listen. We want to also thank all of our God Network News listeners for faithfully listening to us and also for putting comments in the comment section. Thank you very much for that. Thank you so much for all the other listeners. Your faithful listening to God Network News. We will continue to give you good content as the Lord continues to do great things in the world. Welcome to another great episode of God Network News. Today we're going to be listening to a testimony of a Buddhist monk who really miraculously came to know the Lord Jesus Christ and is today still serving him. So let's listen to that exciting testimony. One day we were conducting a training seminar. And during the break time, one of the men came to me and he said, Do you see that young man in the back? I said, Yes, I see him. He said, You need to talk to him. He has an amazing story. So I went back at break time and I sat down with this young man and I said, I understand you have a story. Oh, he said, I I do. I said, How long have you been a believer? He said, Only two months. Ah, I said, Tell me your story. He said, I've been a Buddhist monk for more than 24 years. When I was just a young boy, my parents couldn't feed me, and so they put me in the monastery. It's the only life I've ever known. One morning, I was walking outside carrying my little food basket. I guess I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing because I stepped off the curb of the street into the path of a car. It hit me and it threw me up over the windshield and out into the street. Uh, They picked me up and took me to the Buddhist hospital, uh, the hospital just for monks, and uh, they x-rayed my leg and they came to me and said, we're going to have to amputate your leg. The break is so severe that we just can't do anything about it. So he said I was laying there And I was trying to meditate to the Buddha, but I was so upset and worried, I I, I just couldn't. And somewhere along during the evening, I fell asleep, and in my sleep, I had a dream. In my dream, a man came into my hospital room, and he walked up to my bed. He touched me on the shoulder, and he said, wake up. And when I woke up, I looked, and I saw this man. And he said, don't be afraid. They're not going to amputate your leg. I will heal you. And then the man turned and he walked away going toward the door. And when he got to the door, he turned back around and he said, my name is Jesus. Now, I had never heard that name before, so I didn't know who Jesus was. He didn't tell me anything else about himself, only his name. And then I think I must have fallen asleep again. But later on in the night, I felt warmth in my leg. By morning, I had feeling. And when the doctors came to prep me for surgery, my leg was healed. The doctor said, what happened to you? I told him my story about this man, Jesus, who came into my room in the night and healed me. But the doctor had never heard that name before, and he didn't know what to tell me. And he said, well, nothing more I can do for you. You might as well go back to the monastery. So I went back to the monastery. 
but I couldn't help but thinking about what had happened to me. Well, two weeks later, I was out on the street and I was carrying my bowl again to collect the food and alms from the people. And as I was walking, a man came up to me and said, I want to tell you the story of the living God. I didn't know what he meant when he talked about the God. So I said, what is the God? And the man just began just kept on telling me about the living God. And then he said, and this living God had a son whose name was Jesus. Oh, I stopped and I said, who did you say? He said, Jesus. I said, tell me about this man. I know this man. Tell me about this man, Jesus. And so this man began to tell me the story of Jesus. And when he was all done, I said, I want to follow this man. This man healed me. I want to become a follower of Jesus. And so he said, here I am two months later at your seminar to learn more about Jesus, the man who healed me.